Um, on to some better loan moves. Uh, and there is uh, there, there, there's some new blood in the championship. Uh, and and Blackburn had, had previously done some some good business earlier this season in acquiring Harvey Elliott on loan from Liverpool, which has gone spectacularly well. Um, he is he's got a good partnership with Adam Armstrong there, who is is another fantastic young player who's really hit his groove this season. Um, seems to, it takes around five shots per game, does Armstrong? So you know, servicing him must be very fun for Elliot. Um, but at centre back, they they already had um, Jared Branthwaite on loan from Everton who was born in 2002, and they've just added another 0-2 centre-back in Taylor Harwood-Bellis from Manchester City. And this is the one I'm really excited about because it's his first real taste of senior football. He's had a few appearances for Manchester City here and there, but he is he's a leader, I think, is probably the best way to to, just, to surmise him in one word. Um, you know, he... He's led sort of the, the under twenty three team from the age of eighteen. You know, he's he's very vocal. Uh, I think he he won't have any issues fitting right in. He's the type. I feel like he's the type of player who will just just acclimatize because you know he has no other choice. And also, I think it helps that you know Blackburn, Manchester, it's it's very close in proximity. Um, so it's not going to feel as though he's too far away from home or out of his comfort zone. Um, I think he's probably championship ready. Uh, he's probably the best centre back out of City's academy setup in quite a while, um, and he's also sported a skinhead in many of his previous appearances. Uh, which, I mean, if you're a striker, it may not bother you. But if I was a striker and I was coming up against a six foot four skinhead who was very vocal and played for Manchester City and was a Stockport boy, uh, I'd probably shit myself. So. <laughs> You know, there's there's an element here that you know he's he's probably not going to be too scared of the Lukas Jutkovitzes of the championship. Uh, so you know, I, I wish him all the best. I think he's a he, he's a city boy, you know, born and bred, and I'm really really hoping that he can he can do something there.